Welcome back. You're watching all of our stuff, Saniti. Now, thank you for staying with us. Sharmila Joshi is in our studio here with us. Jagannatham Kunugunkla is with us in Delhi. It's time to go on to our top picks of the week. First up, Jagannatham brings us Syntex Industries. This is the one he recommends we buy this week. Take a look. Established in 1931, Syntex Industries manufactures plastic and textile products and is best known for its water storage containers that are a part of almost every Indian home. The company now has a global presence in nine countries across Asia, America, Africa and Europe. The company reported disappointing fourth quarter earnings with sales down over 30% from last year. This decline was triggered by a 54% dip in its monolithic segment and a flat performance from its storage tank business. The company's management expects the weakness in these segments to continue for the next two quarters. Syntex also saw a significant degrowth in its molding business in Europe. Revenues from the segment declined 71% from last year because of the overall slowdown in industrial activity in the Eurozone. The stock of Syntex industry has fallen over 100 rupees in the last year, but 70% of the analyst community still has a buy recommendation on the counter. All right, that was Syntex Industries. The stock has not had a very good year. Jagannatham sales were down 30%. Profit after tax, or what we call PAT, was down 46% year on year. Now, at a time when most retail investors are already spooked out by my bad markets, you want to convince them to get into a stock like this one? Why? Uh, recently, this uh, uh, after this bad results, uh, the stock got bottomed out around 50. I think somehow I feel that the best, the worst is over. I think uh, uh, the multi-year low is being tested. I think there is a reason to believe that the stock is going to go up. And one more thing is the stock is trading at 7 PU multiple and less than one price to book. So valuations are very, very reasonable. And the bad results, one or two quarters, there, that will all be fine. But considering the format of the program is meant for long term with two-year kind of uh, horizon, I think there is a reason to uh, think that probably the fintech can be a multi But when you say bad results, do you think they'll be able to overcome the challenges of sales and the challenges of business that they're facing on the ground? Yeah, I think uh, Syntex, uh, the company has its uh, strong, a strong brand. What happens in case, in case of uh, whenever the economy turns back, these kind of core businesses which have been running for decades, I think their brand strength and their existing distribution network and etc. will take care of the next wave. So to that extent, their infrastructure is in place, just that they need a, uh, better, better economic conditions which expected to happen in the next coming quarter. Uh, I'm going to ask you to weigh in on Syntex at this point. What's your feeling from a retail investor's point of view? I think there is uh, interest coming back in uh, stocks like this precisely, you know, which are uh, beaten down and where you sense uh, business could look better uh, going ahead. Uh, I wouldn't know about 150 because I think that clearly requires patience, as uh, Jagannathan was saying, you know, a couple of years at least. But I think in the near term, at least people are seeing it rally back to uh, 70, 75 kind of levels. And uh, perhaps, you know, uh, therefore, uh, th there would be more interest in, you know, stocks like that where you think that there could be momentum and you could get that quick 10-15%. Uh, all right, so this is obviously a stock that requires patience and a strong stomach because it's going to take some time before we see those levels come back on that stock. First pick of the week was Syntex Industries. The second pick comes in from Shadmila. She's recommending Allahabad Bank. Take a look. Allahabad Bank was founded in 1865 and is one of the oldest mid-cap PSU banks in the country. The bank's market cap currently stands at 7,367 crore rupees and it gets most of its business from the retail and agricultural sectors. The bank has been clocking in a sustained annual growth of 22% in advances over the last four years, well ahead of the industry average of 19%. However, asset quality over the last two to three quarters has been on the decline as non-performing loans in the fourth quarter grew 25% from last year. To stabilize its asset quality, the bank is expanding its reach in South and West India. It plans to open 250 new branches in FY13, and most of the new branches are expected to be opened in car storage areas. That any deterioration in the overall economic environment could result in lower credit growth for the company. Also, there is a chance that the bank could see a rise in bad loans during the financial year, and this could result in higher provisioning and eat into the company's profits. All right, Alabad Bank. Do you think that uh, among the banking pack right now, the, that's the strongest uh, pick that we have available to us? I think it's a, a bank 
uh, from the mid cap PSU uh, with a very good uh, pedigree. You know, we've seen that uh, even among that, if you have to dif differentiate, this would be among the banks which uh, investors keep uh, coming back to, and uh, which is you know, uh, kind of protects your uh, the downside more than some of the other banks have. So yes, I think uh, from that perspective, I think Jagannathan will also like the stock because he said he likes banking as a space. So precisely for those reasons, because we are seeing uh, interest rates uh, turn, we we will see that concerns on uh, NPA, et cetera, go down. This is a bank that typically has a good uh, loan book. So I think all things considered, uh, we have a buy on this stock, as I said, uh, with a target for about 196. The valuations also seem fairly favorable at this point. Jagannathan, you talked about mid-cap PSUs a little earlier on the show. Is this one of the stocks that you were thinking about at the time? No question about that. I think the fears are a little overdone. I think uh, private sector banks, of course, they are a lot more qualitative and a lot more their loan books are much better. No question about that. But you have to pay 20 PM multiples, whereas you are getting a bank, uh, mid-cap PSU bank at 5 PM multiples. Both of our guests agree that it's a really good pick at this point, which is why I want you all both to weigh in on this uh, particular call that Abhishek Shashwat has written in. He wants to know if he should be buying Yes Bank at this current level. Would you approve that, Jagannatha? One can, but the point is, as I said, the private sector are trading at healthy valuations, be it quoted bank, be it as bank. The growth, are, growth is fine, management is aggressive, that is all fine, but it depends upon what kind of risk appetite that you have. Uh, if you want a um, uh, quality bank at quality price, you have to buy S bank. But you have to uh, buy, take a little bit of risk that uh, NPS on with that CVR in, in this kind of mid-cap PSU banks, I think probably it, it, it makes more sense getting into this mid-cap PSU bank. Would you also recommend he goes to Allahabad Bank instead of Yes Bank at this point? If your uh, aim is to buy within the private banking space, I would think yes, uh, that Yes Bank is a good bank because I think that, uh, you know, the kind of growth that they've shown as well as the vision they have for 2020 and, you know, the way they're meeting those milestones, uh, all uh, are really, I think, uh, quite good and uh, it, it is a good quality bank, no doubt. I think you will get your returns. You won't get the kind of returns that you saw earlier on Yes Bank where you really saw the stock almost, I, give, I think, give you three times uh, returns in one, one or two years. Now, that, that will taper down, but yes, the returns on Yes Bank will be uh, quite good. If you are willing to be a little more risky, without doubt, I think there is more money to be made in uh, PSU banks. So, Avishak, if you're particular about a private sector bank, then Yes Bank will work fine for you, but if you want to take on a little more risk for more value, then PSU mid-cap stocks, the ones that we were talking about in the banking space. Jagannath, thank you so much for spending time with us and answering our questions. Remember, you can send in any question you have to the email ID that's at the bottom of your screen. On the other side, Sharmila will stay with us and we'll answer those tough queries that you've been sending in during the week. Don't go anywhere.